The next word is contretemps, but that's not how you say it. Remember the French, who I'm still mad at? Yeah, they gave us this word, and so it's contretemps. The contra part of this word means against, and the temps part of this word means time. A contretemps is a mistake in time, and it comes from an old fencing term where if two opponents are, are facing each other and they're swinging their foils at each other and one thrusts at the wrong time, leaving himself vulnerable and open to the enemy or to his opponent, that thrust is called a contretemps. But you can commit a contretemps in everyday life, and that's when you make a mistake that leaves you open in front of everyone and vulnerable. It's noticeable. So that extemporaneous speech you were giving about your cousin at his wedding, right? He's marrying a girl named Sarah, but you forgot that and called her Bertha the whole time in the entire speech. That, my friends, was a contretemps.